On today's news, we'll be taking a look into the perspective of foreign exchange students studying it here at Cedar Springs High School, along with a little bit of teacher's advice to seniors as they move forward onto the next chapters of their lives. Well, let me take a look at a few paces, or a few pieces spotlighting our seniors, such as some advice they may have, what their future plans might be, and some of their greatest memories while at Cedar Springs High School. That's right. All that and more on today's edition of CSTV Live. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome back. I'm Jeremy Campioni. And I'm William Zane. And you're watching Cedar Springs TV Live. Our first piece of the day will be looking at the lives of foreign exchange students who found themselves studying here in Red Flannel Town. Maggie Vandermeulen sat down with a couple of the exchange students to better understand what their life was like at Cedar Springs over the past year. Ella Northland. I'm a senior and I'm from Finland. I think the best part is to just meet new people and learn about a new culture and experience something that I could never experience in Finland. I think my favorite class is psychology and TV pro because, well psychology because I think it's really interesting and um, TV Pro because it's also really interesting and it's like fun when we make videos and edit stuff and it's really fun. <laughs> I think I miss most my friends, definitely, and my family. <laughs> well, this year I think COVID <laughs> because it has been ruining kind of a lot of things and we have to wear masks and um, some things have got cancelled so um, it has limited the experience. I think, well, spring break <laughs> was really fun. Uh, we went to Miami with my host family and one friend. Uh, and I've been traveling with my host family quite a lot, so all the vacations and, well, every time I hang out with my friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was uh, a cheerleader during sideline season and competitive. I think all the competitions and our team was really good, so <laughs> I made friends. Yeah, I've been really <laughs> enjoying it. Um, I've been making a lot of friends and just got to experience a lot of new things, so yeah, I've enjoyed. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, probably History class. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everything's so fun here, so <laughs> I'm gonna miss everything. My friends and family. Probably. Well, if someone was thinking like, should I go or not, I should say I would say definitely go and just like experience as much as you can, like take everything out of it that you can. Well, it has been a really good experience. <laughs> well, I know I've made a couple friends from foreign countries this year, and I'm sad to see them go, but I wish them well. I'm glad each of these students were able to experience the life of a Red Hawk, and I wish them safe travels on their journeys back home. For our next piece, our seniors are going to be reflecting on the past four years of their life and pass some advice down to the future graduating classes to come. Hi, my name is Mara Lutz. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. Hi, my name is Roland Blatt. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. Uh, my name is Nathan Ellison. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. 
My name is Jeremy Campioni and I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. I would have definitely tried to make more friends. I feel like freshman year is your like first chance to like start new and get into more things. Um, if I could have done something differently, I probably would have just like branched out more, talked to more people, done more things. I think I would have like started to think about my future more. Uh, I know it's a long time, but I mean, if it goes by fast, so I would have definitely focused on like my grades more than my social life. Um, if I could, if I could go back to freshman year and change one thing, uh, I think I probably would have changed how I interacted with people. Um, I think I could have done a better job of trying to talk to people not only in my grade. I think I could have expand my, uh, expanded my social bubble because I kind of, I mean every freshman is scared of the upper class when they come in, but I, was, I wasn't necessarily scared. I was just didn't want to have to deal with trying to make new friends who weren't already my friends. And I think that kind of took a toll on me as I grew up because I only had a couple friends in different grades and most of my friends were in my grade and it didn't set me up perfectly for college and trying to find new friends out of my friend zone, I guess. I think the most important thing to know in high school is that it's not permanent. Um, you're gonna leave here. It's four years of your life and it's gonna suck sometimes, but it's also gonna be pretty good and it doesn't define you. The most important thing to know is to really just, um, I'd say not really worry about everything else, just kind of do what you got to do without worrying about what other people are doing and just focus on yourself, I'd say. Uh, I think the most important thing to know in high school is uh, that it's going to go by fast, so go to everything you can, go to all the sporting events you can, and interact with like as many people as you can make friends. I think it's really important because it's going to fly by. I think the most important thing to know in high school is just to just relax and not get too worried about things because I know when I came in as like an eighth grader coming into the high school to be a freshman, I was super worried about uh, how classes were going to work, um, who I was going to be able to talk to, and how my teachers were gonna treat me and how everything was gonna work and it's it all works itself out um, I really it was one of the easiest things to do was just go with the flow and let things happen because I know um, for me personally it was just kind of a breeze when it came to stuff like uh, finding my classes and figuring like when my lunch is and who I can rely on, who I can talk to. It all kind of figures itself out and it, it's not anything to be worried about. It's, that's one of the things you really need to know is just kind of go with the flow. Everything will work out in the end and it's, it's not as stressful as you make it. While grades are important for your success, I think it is also important to have fun during high school because you're still a kid. You have time to grow up and be an adult after high school. I would just enjoy your time now. Hmm, I would say having fun because I feel like grades in high school, like you, they're not that hard to maintain. So I feel like you should worry less about it while still focusing on like your social stuff you got going on. Uh, I think that you have to have like a good balance between your grades and like having fun because uh, it's good to have fun because like you're young and uh, you're not going to get it back, it's going to fly by, but your grades are really going to set your future for yourself. So it's good to find that perfect balance. I think having fun and having good grades are both equally important. Um, you need to have fun. That's, I know freshman year 
and even a little bit of sophomore year I just was really focused on trying to like do good in AP classes trying to get good grades so I could go to a really good college and get scholarships and do all that and I as I got to my junior especially my senior year I realized that you don't need miraculous grades to be successful I'm going to community college for two years and that's gonna save me a lot of money I'm gonna be able to have fun for two years while taking classes close to home and it's gonna be a lot less stressful than it would have been if I tried to work my butt off all seen all of high school and get perfect grades and try to go to a perfect college and have the stress of getting good grades at that college so it's I think having fun is more important than getting good grades but they're both they both serve a purpose um, and I don't think you should take either one lightly but yeah have fun while you're in high school because it's it's not gonna get much more fun than this correct as a senior myself I've learned a lot of things and the biggest piece of advice I have is don't let other people influence the way you want to live make decisions based on how you want to live your life and how you think you will be successful that was pretty sweet you know what else is sweet teachers here at Cedar Springs High School some of the best um, so Mara Lutz actually sat down with some of these teachers these awesome teachers and got some advice from them to seniors who are graduating and moving on to the next chapters and just going on to live their lives so let's go let's take a look at what they had to say to the seniors who are graduating this year Congratulations, seniors. I am so happy for you and pretty darn sad to see you go. This class holds an extra special spot in my heart. Many of you were my art students when I first started teaching at Cedar Springs at the middle school. And this class has always been passionate, honest, and kind as I experimented with new lessons as the majority of my teaching career had been in elementary. And then a few years later, when I found myself suddenly teaching at the high school, you were there again with me as I started this new and challenging job, showing me that same grace you did in middle school. And then this year, yikes, learning together virtually, I couldn't have asked for a better group to do this hard thing with. I'm forever impressed and grateful to this class. It has been a great honor to learn alongside you. So I don't really think you need my advice maybe just a reminder to show the world the same grace, kindness, and honesty that I have seen over and over again in you. The world's already a better place because of you, and I am confident that you will continue to make it better. Just keep showing up, keep creating, keep looking for the glimmers and all the hard, and just keep being your incredible selves. Congratulations. Class of 2021, what a great day it is to be a Red Hawk and to be going off into your future. I want you guys to know that I believe in you. I want you to remember to love other people always as if they're actually you, actually your neighbor. And I want you guys to always work hard and do hard things and just, you know, you do you guys and have a great time doing it. Take care. Hello seniors, my name is Mrs. Olson. I had the pleasure of having some of you in class and I wanna wish all of you congratulations on your graduation, especially during some very difficult times with COVID. Oh, we've seen a lot of changes and you have been very flexible. I want to give you some advice. Uh, your 20s, the decade of your 20s, is very important. You'll make a lot of decisions that affect the rest of your life. For example, your career choice, your educational path, as well as maybe the location that you'll live in, and maybe even marriage and children. I know that's hard to believe, but many of you will be married and have kids in your 20s. I've heard someone say that the best investment you can make is in yourself. Uh, you need to be proactive and not reactive. 
I see so many people just kind of let life happen to them and they could have so much more in life if they took charge, if they actually made a plan and worked it. So I want to encourage you to invest some time, some thinking into what you'd like out of life and how to reach that. Again, don't let life happen to you. You happen to life. You're in control. Take care and congratulations. Class of 2021. First off, congratulations. You made it through four years of high school and the last 16 months of just crazy times and you made it through. My advice to you guys in the future is, is make the connections with as many people around you as you possibly can. Um, I preach the old adage that it's not always what you know, it's who you know. And I think those connections will help you uh, in the future. One of my favorite quotes to go off of and that I follow sort of my guidelines and how I live life is we acquire the strength from what we overcome, which means the more we overcome and the more we deal with and the more we endure, the stronger we are as a person and the stronger we are as people and a society and a generation and, and a world. And realistically, you guys have endured a lot. Um, therefore, your strength is more than most. And I think your high school experience is very unique and nobody else has had the same feelings that you have. And I think you're a stronger person because of it. And I think realistically, there's nothing in your future path that you can't accomplish and there's nothing that you can't achieve if you continue to set your mind to it and continue to push. So go out there, conquer the world, and always keep in mind that keep putting the left foot in front of the right and vice versa, and you're destined for greatness. So go out there and, and do great things, and I'm excited to see just how far you go. Good luck. I consider myself blessed to have had all of those teachers throughout my career here in high school, and I'm definitely going to keep them in the back of my mind when I'm making decisions as an adult. I agree. I've, my experience with the teachers here at Cedar Spring High School, for the most part, has been great. Um, it's going to be sad to see them go. I mean, they're not going to be going anywhere, most of them. It's going to be me, but it's going to be sad not being able to wake up every morning and come and see their smiling faces. But now, it's time to reflect on the good. Reflect on all of the memories the seniors have had over the past four years. Some of my favorite memories at the high school have to be um, definitely doing like the plays and the, the musicals and stuff like that that I was a uh, part of like theater and then like some of the filming stuff I got to do and be a part of. Yeah, some of my favorite memories from high school, oh, there's a lot of good ones. I would have to say probably sophomore year going to all the football games was just momentarily probably some of the best moments of my life. Those memories have an effect on me to look back and just kind of be content with my high school uh, like years, regardless of what like our years have turned out to be with COVID and stuff. I can look back and say, you know, at least I had like some fun. At least I made a lot of good like relationships with my friends and other people around me. Uh, the impact that these memories have on me, honestly, is substantial. Uh, I feel like not only have I developed as a person socially, but emotionally because of these memories. The things I'm going to miss about high school are definitely having a place where I always will see like some of my closest friends and some of my favorite people every day, five days a week for 180 80 days a year because it just kind of gave me the like the outlet to see these kind of people and hang out with these people constantly. Things that I'm going to miss most about high school, really uh, feeling familiar in this atmosphere that has been created for me uh, is, is not only comforting, but I think it provides me with a better, a better place to experience life. There's actually an alarming amount of differences between freshman me and senior me. So, First of all, freshman year, I wasn't very open and very social, and I was kind of closed off. And um, kind of having the experience, like I was drawn in to the whole theater program by age one time when he's just like, hey, do you want to come hang out? And I ended up getting a role in the play. Well, there's a lot of differences for me <laughs> between freshman Joe uh, and senior Joey. I would say that senior Joey is not only better thought out, but more composed in his actions. Because freshman Joey used to just be sporadic, impulsive, disrespectful and irresponsible. I'll give two answers because I, I, the best class I ever took, 
The best class I ever took that I actually gained stuff from would definitely be CSTV because now it's kind of given me like, like I plan to go and study film in college and stuff. And I'd say that's the best class that like helped shape me for my years to come. But then my favorite class, just because it was fun, I would probably have to say advanced theater. The best class that I've ever taken is one I'm taking right now. Uh, I would say it's my AP Calculus class with Mr. Painter. Yeah, there's a sense of community in there where uh, we've all, we're all taking pretty much the agreed most difficult class in the high school. Some of the best memories from those classes, um, advanced theater, I would definitely have to say, would be the, the improv lightsaber battles that uh, me, Gabe Park, Nathaniel Hackbart, Joe Priolo, Brian Maley, some of those guys, we would just do fake fighting routines on the stage, or we'd come in some days and we'd go up and like stand in front of the podium and pretend like we're giving like a seminar on a new product. And I would say some of the best memories from that class is, uh, we do this thing called the cup, where whenever we uh, bring a really beneficial idea to the class, we write our name down on a slip, somebody says like cup that, so, uh, so we write down a name on our slip, put it into a cup, and any time that someone's like, hey, can we do the cup? You'll shake it up, pick something from it, and um, you'll be able to spin a wheel that has like candy, um, it has beard picks, because Mr. Painter shaved his beard and it was hideous. The teacher I'm gonna miss the most will probably be, as much as I struggle to say it, because he does give me a little bit of crap here and there is I'd probably say age. Some of my favorite memories with age would probably be as much as this looking back, it was like a stressful time and a stressful moment. Uh, but looking back now and I see it kind of funny would be um, the, the like the live streams that we did for like the football games. The that I wish I could relive was high school football games. Uh, I am not a football player, so I got to stand in the stands uh, stand down at the bottom, cheer my colleagues and peers on. I think the memory that I wish I could relive would probably be my junior year play, which was uh, 30 reasons not to be in a play. My fondest memory in high school was wearing my Pinocchio costume sophomore year to Disney Day. Yeah, mine was probably making fun of him for wearing that costume. But it sure did build character. Um, anyway, our next piece, uh, we're going to be looking at seniors' educational experiences the last four years at Cedar Springs High School and what they enjoyed most. With less than one month left until seniors experience their last day of high school, we can't help but to look back at our years of schooling that led us up to this point. Starting school at five or six, it's almost hard to recall the time when we weren't in school. So I decided to go and interview some of my peers and ask them to look back and how they're feeling as their basic education is finally nearing its end. My name is Wyatt Messler. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. Hi guys, I'm Nicholas Carver. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. My name is Nathan Elliston. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. My name is Jace Cristobal. I'm a senior at Cedar Springs High School. Am I fulfilling my expectations? I would say so. Um, I feel like I'm going down a really good path right now. Uh, mainly because I'm in the early middle college program right now and that's setting me up for a really good future. And I'm trying to put my 100% effort into it and I think that I'm really getting somewhere with it. So, yep. Uh, I am not fulfilling my expectations that I had. I had like, like my freshman year I had really high goals that were on, like honestly like out of reach kind of I mean uh, they were really difficult to accomplish especially being like a student athlete and having a job uh, it was they were difficult to accomplish so no I did not fulfill my goals I set myself freshman year I think I'm fulfilling my past by sticking with what I said I was going to do from my sophomore year and staying to it and not going to college for for that stuff so considering I didn't have any expectations I'd say I've gone above and beyond what is my greatest memory out of school um, it's not really one memory but I would just have to say that um, just all the people I've met throughout my career um, I've made a lot of good memories with a bunch of different people and uh, I mean that's something I'm never gonna forget after high school so yeah 
My greatest memory of school would probably be walking onto Ford Field for my um, state finals in band. All right, I think my greatest memory of high school is uh, just hanging out with my friends, like seeing them every day. Uh, like obviously there's work to do in the classroom and uh, I have to get like my studies done first, but seeing them every day at like football games, basketball games, uh, like walking into school with them, just uh, hanging out with everybody. My favorite teacher throughout my whole school career would probably be Mr. Shaminsky because he gave me candy. I think Mr. Kapolka is my favorite teacher of all time. Uh, not only like is he my football coach, but he also just he has a really interesting class, and uh, he always knows how to like have fun. But we also always get work done. So. Oh man, uh, would my elementary self be proud of what I am? Uh, I don't think he would be unproud, but I think he would definitely be surprised of who I've turned into. <laughs> definitely didn't expect this, but you know, I'm not, I'm not upset with where I am at right now, so yeah. My elementary self, nah, my elementary self would think I'm a bum. I think my elementary self would look at me and be like, wow, how am I here? Yeah, I do think that my elementary self would be proud of myself today. I think I've taken on a lot more responsibility than I've had to. So. And to end this video off, I want to give a special thanks to those that participated in this video and wish all my peers that are graduating next week the best in their next steps as they end this chapter of their life. My favorite educational experience was this past week when I found out I was passing all my classes and on track to get my diploma. Yeah, that was a good one. I also liked... The last couple days of each year when we didn't really have much to do in the classes because our exams were over. Nothing against the teachers, those were just the best educational days, you know what I mean? And as many of you know, senioritis is a big thing. We're itching to get out in the real world, itching to have our summer. And now we move on to summer plans for the seniors. As the school year comes to a close, many seniors look forward to ending their last year of high school. However, they still have one more summer before they move off into adulthood. I took this time to sit down with five seniors and ask them what their ideal summer looked like. So what I'm thinking right now, all right, hear me out. Party yacht, me, Ted Cruz, Cameron Diaz, maybe Ellen, I'm on the fence, you know, with the recent controversy, and there's a Dave and Busters. That's what I'm thinking. My perfect summer would be being able to get up early and go to work and get my work day done by like four or five in the afternoon and then I could spend the rest of the night hanging out with my friends at like someone's house out by a bonfire or something, just enjoying the, the warm weather while we have it. My perfect summer definitely involves a lot of traveling. Um, I'm really into seeing new places, sometimes seeing old places that you haven't seen very much before. So my family right now is planning to take a road trip out to uh, Glacier National Park out in Montana. Uh, which would be really sweet. I haven't actually been there before. I then asked these seniors what their summer plans were. Uh, this summer, I'm going to be working a lot to try and save up a little bit of money so I can actually attend the college I want to go to. And then I'm also going to be trying to spend the summer with my friends before I head off. This summer, I'm planning on working a lot because I need to save up for college. And I really have been getting into bike riding, so I'm hoping that I could go find some new trails. This summer, I'm gonna be going into the Army. First, I go to South Carolina for two months, and then I go to Virginia for five, and the goal is to be a helicopter mechanic. Uh, this summer, I pretty much just plan to get ready for, for college. Um, you know, play a little bit of soccer, things like that, things that help relieve stress. Um, obviously, there's still reading and writing and uh, hanging out with friends and all that stuff, so it's, it's planning to be a pretty laid back summer. Well, you know, I gotta get that bag, and I currently work at a nursing home, so, you know, I'll be serving to the elderly. Finally, I asked them what their next chapter would lead them to in the fall. My plans in the fall are I'm gonna attend GCU out in Arizona, so I'll be able to be close to my brother, and I just, I plan on following up and going into marketing. My plans for the fall are to attend GRCC and just start there because I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do with my life yet, so I figured I'd just start local. Actually, I'm planning on getting an apartment with one of my friends in Grand Rapids, so we're closer to the campus. 
Uh, this fall I'm planning to attend Loyola University in Chicago. Uh, I got into their honors program. So I'll start probably early August. That's when I'll go over to Chicago. Um, I plan to study global and international relations with a second major in either economics or political science. Um, hopefully I'll start picking up Italian my first year and then do my second year in Rome. So uh, yeah, the plan's pretty straightforward actually. It's just about putting it into play and you know, staying disciplined with it. I'd like to take a minute and congratulate every senior for graduating, even through these tough times with COVID-19 and many other setbacks. Let's not forget to look around and be proud of our accomplishments and be happy for the experience. Now for a piece that was supposed to be introduced by this kid and Kate Dingman, Katie Draper sits down with some Cedar Springs athletes and talks to them about their drive to perform well and come out on top. What does it mean to be a great athlete and how do they push themselves to be better? We sat down with two student athletes from Cedar Springs High School to find out how they pursue greatness in their sports. Uh, I've been playing baseball pretty much my whole life uh, since I was probably two or three years old, ever since I could pick up a ball. One of the biggest things about these athletes is that they are students, trying to juggle friends, multiple sports, and homework all at one time. Uh, after school is normally sports, and when I'm done with sports I try and do my homework. Uh, I work with my dad sometimes. Honestly, it's just a lot of like sacrifices because you're never able to make everybody happy. So. It's, I've got to be somewhere. Through all of the years and sacrifices, who or what keeps you motivated? Probably my dad, because I know he got hurt in his high school career, and he, I knew he had the skills to go play professional baseball, but he wasn't able to because of injuries. So I kind of play for him, you know. Honestly, just like my passion of like, or not even my passion, it's my pride. Like, I just take so much pride in myself that I feel like if I don't, do amazing in everything that I do. Like if I don't put my full heart into something, then I don't feel like it's worth doing. So. After high school is over, only 7% of athletes continue their sports on to college. Um, I actually plan on going into the Army and I'm gonna play football in the Army. Uh, yeah, uh, judging by my travel team, like we go to recruitment camps for college and stuff and I uh, work with some of the best pitching coaches in the country, probably the best, Tom House. Uh, and yeah, I see myself probably playing college and see where it goes from there. These students and so many more make sacrifices every day so that they can pursue greatness in their sports. We wish all athletes good luck in their games and to keep pushing to be great. And just so you guys know, some of you may already know, this will be mine and Willie's last time performing and being a part of Cedar Springs TV. And to all the seniors, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the memories that we've had over all these years, especially high school. We've all grown into some pretty great young adults, and I couldn't be more grateful to have met you all. I agree. It's been a pleasure of mine to be a part of this program and to be part of this school and to make so many great friends and so many great memories. I'm Jeremy Campione. And I'm William Zane. And just remember, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to, to be, be a Red, Red Hog. Hog.